What's up guys and welcome back to another Little Big Planet 3 video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Monsters Ink Pack for Little Big Planet 3 that just released yesterday. It's always so wonderful to see DLC from Pixar movies making their way into this game. It's just such a great fit. I love Pixar movies, I love Little Big Planet, so it's the best of both worlds. I just really wish there was a level pack like there was for the Toy Story pack, but maybe one day. But without further ado, let's get into it. The first costume we have is for Sackboy, and it is the Boo costume. Not only is it one of the cutest costumes Little Big Planet has to offer, it's just so similar to the movie counterpart. Boo is in her little purple monster costume with the bouncing googly eyes on top. A great start to the pack. I love it so much. Then we have the CDA costume for Sackboy. One of the five CDA costumes in the pack, Sackboy looks ready for any protocol, even the dreaded 2319. This costume serves its purpose well for looking like a CDA employee. Now moving on to Toggle, we have the Sully costume. While it's easy to say that Toggle got the most love in this pack, I'm not very keen about this Sully costume. It may just be the shape of Big Toggle's head, but it just doesn't feel like Sully to me. Maybe I'm wrong though, what do you guys think? His fur is certainly well detailed, and it's still a very nice costume. Then we have Mike Wazowski. This one is just well fit for small toggle. His body shape and stature is a close match to Mike's. His eye is slightly transparent so that you can see the expression of toggle, but I think this does more harm than good for the costume. Still though, a very good one. Then we have the Abominable Snowman for Big Toggle. The detail on the Abominable Snowman's fur is really well detailed. It just looks so fluffy. While I once again think it doesn't look that much like it does in the movie, I can't deny it's a nice costume. The yellow snow cone really makes up for anything this costume could have gotten wrong. Then we have the CDA costume for both Big Toggle and Small Toggle. This costume is only available in the pack, which means it cannot be purchased individually. This is the same with all of the remaining CDA costumes in this video. Both this and the Small Toggle CDA costume are, in my opinion, the best out of the group. I just think that the head looks really cool, besides the obvious size difference and the fact that Big Toggle is holding an object, these costumes are identical. Moving on to Swoop, we have a CDA costume. Swoop CDA costume has a very interesting shape to it, and by far is the most unique out of the suits. It does make me wonder how she breathes in that thing though. And then finally, we have the Oddsock costume, which is yet again, another CDA costume. Oddsock CDA costume is fairly basic, providing a box and one eye slot to look through. While it isn't particularly a bad costume, there just isn't that much that stands out about it. But either way, there we have it. That is the Little Big Planet 3 Monsters Inc. costume pack. A lot of costumes for a decent price, $5.99 USD. I think that this is actually a pretty good costume pack overall, and I hope this means that we get more Pixar movie packs soon. A Bugs Life pack would be awesome, just saying. Get me that Bugs Life pack, but either way, I think this was overall a good step. I would love to see a Monsters Inc. level pack, but maybe one day. Maybe not now, but in the future. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, share with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. Have you gotten the Monsters Inc. costume pack? If you have, let me know what you think about it, or if you just plan on getting it in the future, I would love to know. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.